Yo, 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 what is up guys and gals, how you doing, Destroyer here, bringing you an in-game build for Lilith, the Cruel Mistress, and as you can, check her out, she is crazy, does a lot of damage here, but all in one skill ratio, so you want to make sure, play her a lot like FaZe or Curse Door, use all your skills at once and get it back, but first let's get in on this in-game build. And, well, I'll go ahead and sell that item. But first, the way you want to start out with her is double acolyte staffs. Now, the reason we're starting out this way is because it builds into another item. Instead of going squires or patients or anything like that to give us a little more defense, you want to stay back. Use your first skill to kite. This is why this is good for her. Also, after that, we typically want to build into the Leviathan Cloak. Because it gives us a little more damage as well as some piercing magical defense. This is really good. Allow us to get in there with our first skill as well as when we blow up our second skill. Our shadows, this is very, very good. After that, I typically buy some boots of haste to get me more in an initiating zone. Just in case if I have to last hit something. This allows me to do that with a physical last hit. After this, of course I want to build some damage, so Ruby Ring is definitely my choice of action for that. And then if I don't have the money, I will buy an Acolyte Staff and build those two items into an Enchanter's Ring to get 80 plus damage. This is definitely where I need to be. After this, I typically buy into Arrogance Cloak. Now, one of my previous videos, I do want to say that I built the Arrogance Cloak. I said it was unaffected by them. Now, I've done a lot of testing since then with this character, Lilith, and the Arrogance Cloak really needs to be your full first item. And the reason is because the ulti works as a single target for each hero. This is the main reason why. So it doesn't take off the 50%. It does very well. And there's not that glitching mechanism that we had before. So Aragon's Cloak is the first item. After that... I typically start building into one or two different items. One of the items is the Steering Souls because I like the burn through magical defense. Or start building into the Helm of Divine Favor. Now it depends on you. I typically start going to the Helm of Divine Favor. The only reason is because of the Cloak of Dragon's Blood. Plus, I need a little bit of extra defense when I'm getting in with my ult. And I also get a bonus 10% CD skill. This is always a plus. So after that, I'll finish off my Helm of Divine Favor and then buy another Enchanter's Ring to give me and maximize that damage as much as possible. Tower destroyed. Now I have a choice here of either buying the steering souls or finishing off uh, my uh, finishing off my steering souls or buying another enchanter's ring and I usually buy a bone flame excuse me I usually buy the bone flame or the searing orb depending on how well I'm doing if I'm doing really well I'll buy the bone flame if I'm not doing so well I'll buy the searing orb but if I'm doing okay, I'll buy double souls, and then after that, I'll buy into the Searing Orb. This way, I get the extra damage from the Bone Flame if I'm doing well, and I get the bonus damage from the piercing I do with the Searing Orb. After this, I have all the damage I need. For physical and magical defense. Now some people decide to build the frost ring and I do want to suggest this because it is a good build if you want to slow the person this is a very good build to do as in 
because every time you use your ulti, it slows that person a certain percentage, and then also when you use your first skill, it slows that person, as well as your second skill. So try that out, but that's not typically the way I go. Typically I go either physical or magical defense, and usually the Spider Queen or Essence of Lebanon is the way I go because they both have 10% CD skill and both give me 70 magical damage and what I love and then I have also the falter bag of the Helm of Divine favor so I usually will build into the Spider Queen because I'm facing an Arya Draenor or something like that but if I need a little bit extra I sometimes I sell my boots of haste because she's not really necessarily needing it. And I build into the staff of rectitude just for the 110 extra magical attack. So guys and gals, tell me what you think about this build. Tell me if it's beneficial to you, if it helps you. I will also give you a quick glimpse at her stats just to say tell you what the cooldown rate is and what it looks like so thanks for watching as always please don't forget to like subscribe and share and as always i'll see you out in the battle of herodon destroyer out hey guys and gals i just want to quickly go over some tablets that i suggest Like using blood freeze tablet is one of them now the inscriptions we talk about this I use one of three different types of inscriptions pierce through magical defense is my number one because you want her and her shadows to do as much damage as possible also I like using HP for the other because it kind of keeps her alive until you can use that defensive item of the Helm of the Vine favor. Also, I like using the Protective Tablet. It lets me, you know, just give me a little bit extra seconds to stay alive so I can blow them doppels up. Also, I really like Rage Tablet because you want her to be a laner, so this kiting and a little bit of extra HP is very nice. Now, a couple other tablets that I do use typically in more of a competitive gameplay scenario, if I decide and I want to get in and do maximum damage, Tablet of Desire. Also, sometimes I will stack full CD. Just, I've been testing around with it, but I really like that idea because you can maximize the CD with her all, almost all the way to 40%. I've got it right at the 35 with the build that I just used. So, uh, like I said, the Tablet of Desire, I really like using that one as well as the Tablet of Elder. This gives me a lot of defense, as you saw. I'm stacking, you know, at least four or 400 or more, as I showed you with my stats. A uh, lot, lot of damage there. Uh, you can use the Tablet of Assistance. I don't really recommend it as much, but because you're going to want to carry with her or assist of carry with her. Now, those are what I really recommend as well as the blood freeze and one other notable tablet that I'll go ahead and suggest for y'all is uh, I don't think I have it built right now is the invisible tablet now this tablet I think is Magnoli but it'll give you an extra six seconds is really good for her to initiate and do her invis tactics so also check that one out uh, guys and gals, tell me if you want me to do a supportive build for her, because I think she could be a very good supportive mage as well. So, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and tell me what you thought about this in-game build. See you out in the Battle of Herodon. Sure.